lecture that we are going to take today is about basic math operations. Basic math operations include the four major ones, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Other than this, the one main thing that I want you to take out from this lecture is the BODMOS operator uh, sequence. The BODMOS operator sequence is, is a rule that helps us in solving equations where you have more than one operators. Which means, if I have something like this, how do we solve this? Here, as we can see, we have more than one operators. We have a plus sign between 16 and 21, and we have a minus sign between 21 and 9. So, what would be the answer? Do we, let's do it in two ways. One is, we take the negative sign first. So you have 16 plus 21 minus 9 is 12, which gives you 28. Okay, let's take the positive sign first. You take 16 plus 21, that comes out to be 8, which is equal to, again, 28, no problems there. Now, the problems start arising when you have something like this. In this case, if suppose you take, let's take only two different ways of doing this. Let's take the division sign first. Now this becomes 12 by 16, which is 3 by 4 plus 21 minus 9 into 6. Now if we take the multiplication sign next, it becomes 3 by 4 plus 21 minus 6 nines are 54. So you have 3 by 4 plus 21 minus 54. Let's take the minus sign first. You have 3 by 4 minus 33, which comes out to be minus 32 1 by 4. So the answer for you here is minus 32 1 by 4. But if we reverse the operation sequence, we'll get a different answer. Let's take a look at that. If the sequence took the multiplication sign first, then we'll have 12 divided by 16 plus 21 minus 6, 9, 54, which is equal to, if we take the negative sign next, we have 12 divided by 16 plus 21 minus 54, again minus 33. Now let's take the minus sign again. So you have 12 divided by 16 minus 33 is 17, which is minus 17. Now this becomes minus 12 by 17. Okay. So you see that there are differences in the correct answer or in the answer that you get when the operator sequence is changed, is altered. If that happens, you will not arrive at one correct answer. And this is why there is a general rule which is followed by everyone in order to arrive at one answer universally. Now this is uh, the basic rule that we can follow is the BODMAS rule. The BODMAS rule states B stands for brackets O stands for orders D for division,
M for multiplication. A is addition. And S is subtraction. So it means that in any operator sequence, you will go this way. If you have, let's say, three signs in a, in a sequence which are multiplication, division and addition, then you will use the division sign first, then the multiplication sign, then the addition sign, which means if I have something like this, x plus y minus z divided by a into b, then I will do this first. This operation will be first. Then the answer of this will give you something like this. So this operation will be second. Now the answer for this will be probably negative or positive. It will be negative because the negative sign is here outside. Let's say this is a negative answer. So you have x plus y minus something. So you'll use this as the third operator sequence and then the remaining one as the fourth. I hope this is clear. Now I'll tell you something about brackets and orders. Brackets are uh, something that we use to break the operator sequence. Which means that if you have something like this, 1 plus 2 into 12. Now we know that through the uh, rule, I should do this first. But if I use brackets and I say something like this, then it means that I have to do this first and this operation next. Okay? Brackets are used to break the operator sequence in the way the user wants it. If you say 1 minus 2 into 3, then I have to do 1 minus 2 first instead of doing 2 into 3 first. Fine? And orders are uh, the squares, the cube roots, uh, the square roots, and so on that we apply in the equations. Okay. These will come next after the bracket. So if you have something like this, 1 minus 2 square into 3. So you do the bracket thing first. It gives you minus 1 square into 3. So you cannot do minus 1 into 3 first. You'll have to do minus 1 square. Then... To the result, you apply a multiplication factor of 3. I hope this is clear. So, uh, let's end this on that, that note. Let's call this the board mass lecture. Basic math will cover something else too. And that would be, let's say, basic math second. And in that lecture, we'll be covering partial fractions. So, see you in that.